Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. Right, so this is what I'm wearing today. I just got this little. Well, it's almost like a little autumnal sort of number. It's a little dress. Um, it's got a little tie here at the waist. Um, it, if you look there, you can see sort of the length it is on me, I think. There, there you go. If I go back a bit, just sort of down to the knee. And then I've just got black leggings and a pair of black Chelsea boots. And I'm going to pair it up with this little bomber jacket. <laughs> Bright, but you need to be cheerful, don't you, in the winter? Um, so this is a Marks and Spencers one, and it's very heavy. It's thick, it's heavy. Doesn't look it. I think it's because of the colour, it doesn't look it. Um, but that's what I'm going to be wearing on the top. And this is what the hairs are like. So, as you can see, when it's dry, it does look lighter. And I think, you know what it's like when you colour your hair. As you wash it, I think it gets lighter. But actually, I'd like it to stay this colour. I doubt that it will, but I'd like it to. I, I actually really like it. Um, so it's just up in, as you can see, a bit of a messy bun today. Um, sometimes I just can't bear it around my neck too much with all the hot flushes, you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I love the lip gloss. The tart one, beautiful. Um, makeup is more than enough for daytime look. So all I need to do now is go downstairs, have a coffee, get myself sorted and get on the road and get over to my daughter's house. I'm looking forward to deciding what we're going to be doing with my nails today. I've got a few things in mind and so has she. So um, yeah, watch this space. I'll be back later on to show you. So I'm on the way now to my daughter's. I've got my cheerful cheerful yellow jacket on so i've had my nails done and they look lovely they're very simple understated but with a little bit of sparkle i will show you so they are still short as i said and so they've just got a little bit of sparkle down by the cuticle so they're really really nice really elegant so I'm really happy with those. Um, I've just stopped at Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencers. Um, I'm just going to have a little look around. And then I'll be on my way. Don't know if I'm going to get anything, but I probably will. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. So I'm just going to go in there. Um, I'll tell you what, this yellow jacket, it's like a little bomber jacket. It's so warm. It's amazing. And this is from Marks and Spencers, actually. So I'm just going to give Chris a ring just to make sure he's okay. To be left a little bit longer because he's still very unwell, guys. Yeah, he's been quite poorly, has Chris. I think the problem that happened with the leg has um, caused trauma in his body. And because of that, he has sort of developed a lot of joint pain. Um, and an awful lot of joint pain. I mean, I know what it's like. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 30 years ago, so I know what it's like in the very early stages. Um, and so anyway, we've been to the doctors several times because he's still been having his leg dressed. And then we had a phone call last week from the rheumatology department at our hospital. Um, he's got an appointment next week. So that has been so... Talk about quickly... I mean, it was such a, a fast-tracked appointment. Um, oh, God, I felt a bit sick then. The car next door to me is moving, and I felt like I was. Oh, gosh. Um, anyway, I'm rabbiting on, so I will come back to you probably when I get home. Maybe before, but a bit later. So see you soon. Hello, everyone. I'm home. <laughs> I've been home a while, actually. I've just been busy kind of you know doing washing drying that sort of thing um so i come upstairs i need to make my bed um because i've just washed all the bedding i did buy three well i bought a few bits in sainsbury's i bought a french stick um some pate 
what else did I buy? Some rolls for burgers for tonight. Um, and some anodine. I thought I saw a spider there. Oh. Um, and some anodine. And then I also bought myself just like a, a top to wear. Um, we're going out with our friends for our annual get together for a meal. I think that's next week. No, it might be the week after. So I bought a new top to wear there and for Chris as well. So they were only, I think mine was 16 and it's 12. Ooh. Just, Chris is like a little uh, t-shirt top which just says uh, riding home for Christmas or something. Um, and mine's just like blue with like chevron sparklies on it. That's really, really pretty. Um, and then I got Chris a really nice jacket to go with his Christmas present. So he's been looking for a jacket. It's just like, um, almost looks like a barber jacket. So, yeah, it's, not, it's nice. He, I sent him a photograph. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit, but I, when I looked at it, I thought it's definitely going to. Um, and he was like, can we take it back, you know, if it doesn't fit? And it does, and he looks really nice in it. So he's going to have that as one of his little Christmas presents. Um, I need to crack on and do a last bit of work. the bed's made. I hate that job. Cool flipping out gets you right out of breath doesn't it as well. One of those jobs that you have to do but you don't enjoy doing. I was going to put the Christmas bedding on today and I totally totally forgot so here we'll go on next week now. A nice cup of coffee in my new mug, my new Emma Bridgewater mug. How lovely is this? I am subscribed for six months for um, to I think it was beautiful, beautiful home magazine. I, I love those sort of things. And so if you subscribed for six months, you also got the magazines a lot cheaper, and you got a free Emma Bridgewater mug, which if you didn't want it yourself. You could always gift this for somebody and I'm sure it would always be acceptable but I loved it too much myself. Got a pile of clothes up here to put away. That's another job I don't like doing but has to be done. I've had some stuff delivered today to do a video on so this has all been gifted. What's in this bag here has been gifted so I need to do that one ASAP. Um, so I'll just pop these clothes away whilst we have a little chat and then I will bid you good night. <laughs> what is that? That's the top, so it's got a hanger. Um, so jarry bottoms, like shorts, you know, jarry shorts. That's Chris's, that's mine, that's a bra, bralette thing. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with my nails. They're, they're so pretty. They look completely natural because of the colour. It's just got a little bit of gold, sparkly, glittery there. Look. I wanted something really quite simple. Leggings. It wasn't that long ago, was it, that I actually tidied all my drawers up and did a load of decluttering. Well, I don't know what's happened, but... <laughs> It always happens, doesn't it, that the drawers get really kind of messed again. Um, I may, I think I'm going to have a bit of a sort out before Christmas because I've got stuff that I need to get rid of that I can give to charity shops. Pajamas. Something else I need to sort out. It's this pyjama drawer, but I've got two pyjama drawers and uh, some things I do wear, some things I don't wear anymore. And they could you know probably give someone else a turn oh i changed over all the chair covers in the dining room to the christmasy ones so they can go into the airing cupboard now uh joggy bottoms vest top most of the drawers are okay apart from it is just the um 
like the night clothes they need sorting and like the joggies um that sort of stuff leggings oh gosh more of these flipping jammies that i really like but they make me sweat because of the menopause and the hot flushes and all the rest of it um, these are sort of like pajama bottom joggy inny outies we always say inny outies because if there's something that we can wear indoors but we can also wear outdoors say if we needed to pop round to the post office needed to pop round the corner to the co-op we could because you could still wear it out um and get away with it so we call them inny outies that bit done i've got a few bits to put away over there didn't take that long did it i was dreading doing it because i don't like doing it <laughs> the thing is i really love doing it when my drawers are all spick and span and I've got loads of room in there and I think, oh, that just looks so nice. But when I've ended up cramming stuff in, which is ridiculous, oh, it's the same with the bras. I look at all these bras in here and I think, I mean, my actual proper, proper bras, like the one, the underwires, don't have any of those anymore. Got rid of all of those. Um, so I have lots of bralettes. I do have some ordinary bras but that are cotton and they don't have any un, you know, underwire at all but they're all looking a little bit not shabby but they look as though i've had them some years which i have <laughs> so they're probably not doing the best job you know um i got these yesterday no sunday no saturday oh gosh get it right this time so I picked these up on Saturday and when I went to um, Home Bargains, I've used these in the past and they had these in there. I think they were $1.99 um, and they are the Advanced Teeth Whitening Strips. You get instant results, peroxide free, zero gum irritation, teeth sensitivity free non-peroxide 100 percent safe and you've got 14 strips so that's like seven treatments because you put one strip at the top and one strip at the bottom as i say i have used them before a long long time ago actually but i have used not this particular brand but i have used you know the whitening strips um i have done videos on it in the past so i've bought two of those one each for chris and i and then I bought us one of these each as well. These were, I think, one ninety nine as well. And it's the teeth whitening pen, um, the latest PAP gel or PAP gel formula. Results from first use, peroxide free, uh, and it's the pen. So you can, if you want to, sort of take this one out and about with you so i've got a couple of those because obviously you don't want to be sharing that with anyone you know once it's been on your teeth um i did get these socks yesterday i thought they're going to be really snuggly warm they were two no on saturday sorry they were 2.99 and they are the uh, ladies thermal socks um i just got those because i thought chris could just wrap those up and give them to me because you know they don't always know what you want do they and i thought well i could do with those let him give them to me rather than just start wearing them straight away but inside look how floofy they are can you see look at that oh, that lovely floof oh they're cozy so that is going to the other room got some new toothbrushes probably for the last couple of years now we've been using the bamboo toothbrushes We've got some more of those to go into the bathroom. I also got this from Home Bargains and it's a Merry Christmas, a little sort of Mickey Mouse themed box. Um, this is just to put my, our little grandson, Otis, he's the youngest one at the moment, he'll be four in January to put his Christmas present in, that one. Um, I got these, I bought these in from the garage, <laughs> I've them all in the garage, I've got a 
I need to start bringing stuff in. So there's things like for the grandchildren, you know, like the, the sweets. I've uh, got munchies, milky bars, smarties. Um, another couple of munchies in here. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got um, presents that I daren't really show in case people watch. Um, like smellies for the guys. So that's all of that. So that needs to go for now into the little bedroom. And then I really must start wrapping stuff up. Today I did play, because I just don't want to be going out and about too much now because it was really busy out today and I know that's just going to get worse. So I'm going to go out when I need to. Today I placed an online poundshop.com order. They are sort of related to Poundland because you can see the same things there as you can get in Poundland. And also you can buy some Pep & Co stuff. Um, so they are kind of like a sister company to them. Um, so yeah, I've ordered some stuff. I mean, Chris said, let's start getting the presents out, putting them in like family order and sort of sorting each family, wrapping it, bagging it, putting it aside. And then he said, uh, I mean, we've got wrapping paper. I have bought wrapping paper this year and everything. I haven't got many labels. Oh, me. I did sit down uh, a couple of nights ago and I just cut out some old Christmas cards that I've been saving, cut them out to make it sort of like labels, like gift tags. Um, so on the pound shop order, I've ordered some... Uh, some more wrapping paper, some more sellotape, some more uh, labels with the little ribbons. I have some, but I ordered some more. I've ordered gift bags to put things in. Then I, what else did I order? Oh, sweets to pop in, stockings. Um, well, I've ordered a present for Teddy, our dog Teddy, our little pom. Um, he's going to be five on the 18th of December. Elsie's going to be five on the 1st of January. So I'll get her something maybe in a week or so put away for her. But it's terrible because I do treat them a bit like I treat the kids. But they are my, my little, they're like my little children now. All my children have grown up. Um, so because it's Teddy's birthday and I've bought him this like polar bear because <laughs> he likes to snuggle here. He likes a soft toy that he can... And he'd do all this like he used to do to his mum, you know. And he'd like suck it and do all this. And, so, and her favourite thing in the whole world, other than like food, is her balls. She loves playing ball. So I've ordered her some balls so that when he gets his gift, she's got something. And it'd be vice versa, you know. I know it's daft, but that's me. And that's that's how I am and that's what I do. Oh, I ordered a colouring book with stickers and some little mini size uh, colouring pencils for Otis. Where he's only little and his hands are small and he does like to do colour. He's quite artistic. So I didn't want him to have a great big pencil in his hand, you know. So it just fit beautifully in his little hand. Oh, I haven't shown you the other day when I was out. I um, We were in Morrison's. And they have this beautiful little dress there. Well, if you've been with me for a little while, you know my daughter Hannah. Um, she's already got a son called Lennox. He will be eight in March. And she's expecting her second baby in April. And she's having a little girl. I'll go and get it. It's adorable. Couldn't resist it. You ready for this? How cute. Look at that. That dear little dress. So it's got all the little smocking detail across the front sort of thing I used to dress my girls in and I sent her a picture of it she said oh mum I really love it but it's the old sort of traditional old fashion not the mini me's you know and I just thought that's adorable and of course it's got it's got a little lining little petticoat with it 
and then it's got the little knickers look at those dear little knickers <laughs> dear little pants and then i picked up these socks because i thought they're going to go every single pair of these with little frilly bits look they're going to go beautifully with with this dress so yeah so cute isn't it a little newborn oh it's really nice to be able to buy the little girl stuff again because we kind of like needed another little well it doesn't matter what you have does it boy or girl wouldn't have mattered but it's kind of quite nice to have another girl in the family i'm gonna crack on here get these last things put away um go downstairs feed the dogs honestly it's never ending feed the dogs feed us come upstairs get my makeup off and get in my jammies not the sweaty ones <laughs> and just chill out for the rest of the evening i don't even know what the time is now i think it's about alexa what's the time it's 5.53 pm. Oh, 5.53, so it's almost six o'clock, so I need to crack on now. So get this lot away. I'll be downstairs in 10 minutes. Feed the dogs. Whack our dinner. We're just having burgers tonight. Something really easy. Um, had a late lunch by the time I got home today. And so, yeah, just going to have burgers. I was going to do chips with that, but I probably won't because I don't think any of us are that hungry, to be honest. Burger, probably do. Okay then, my lovelies, I'm going to love you and leave you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely be delighted if you would. Of course, that notification bell, if you just touch that, that will let you know when I do my new uploads. Still going with Vlogmas. I wasn't sure, was I, right in the beginning? Do you remember the beginning of, or oh, I think it was the end of November, I said it was like, it was Vlogmas before Vlogmas or something. I was like, oh, I don't really don't know how I'm going to get on. I don't know if I'll be doing it every day. So far, I've managed to. Fingers crossed that I will be able to carry on doing it. But um, it's pretty tough going at the moment because with Chris still being really, really poorly. Um, I mean, it might be TMI, really, but he can't even pull his pants up. His hands are so painful. He can't put pressure on his fingers or anything. Um, so I'm having to do tons at the moment, which is a bit of a problem because actually on paper, Chris is my carer. He doesn't get paid for it or anything. Um, I know you can get carer's allowance, but, uh, when Chris retired, when he was like officially retired, they said, well, um, you can either claim carers or you can get uh, your state pension. Well, you're going to go with your state pension, aren't you? Because obviously it's more money than the carers. Um, but they said, but we'll still keep you registered as the carer. But of course, it's like a little bit reverse roles at the moment. I'm trying to struggle through. I'm putting a lot of things on the back burner, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but as you know, I'm struggling with a lot of things myself and it's just as well touch wood that I'm going through a relatively good stage at the moment. However, I did say to him the other day, um, we'd be absolutely effed if I go into a flare up now. We really, really would. And I was sort of talking to my daughter today and I said, you know, we're going to be stuffed, Holly, if... If you know, if I go into a flare up now, so I'm just keeping everything crossed and crossed, and I'm trying not to push myself too hard because I don't want that to happen. Um, but he does see the rheumatologist, I think it's on the 15th, so as soon as he sees him, maybe he'll be able to prescribe something you know more for him. Um, but it is what it is, you do what you can do, don't you? Do you know what I mean? It's like at the end of the day, I still say it's a privilege to, we all say, oh, it's all downhill when you get old. And it kind of is. However, I think it's a privilege to be old. So, yeah, let's not complain. Let's keep it up and positive. 
So I said I was going and I said, I haven't gone, so I'm going to go now. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye for now, my lovelies. Bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are